right to the plate for Kansas City. Number 11. The why to kick the pitch. That misses that miss, the zone. The and we're underway here this afternoon. That to right. Wilson gliding to his left. Snags it on the run. And there's one away. And next up for the Royals, Dyrone Blanco. He swings and misses at the You're first pitch. 0-1. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Here comes the 0-1. He swings and fouls one off. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. And That's there's a one. strike. Go and one. Oh, and two as he waves oh at that one. Got him looking. Fastball to letters, frozen for. Here's Trey Turner. The wind of the pitch. Line drive. Makes the catch for the out. Singing, you know, Zach Grinke, a guy that even while he's been playing, he likes scouting amateur talent in person and watching guys on video. Well, in the 2012 year when he was with Milwaukee, he went into their draft room and there was video on the screen of a certain player. And he pointed at the screen, Grinke did, and said, that's the guy you should take with your first pick. He's the best player in the draft. And it turned out to be his future teammate. Corey Seager. The 01. Here's a rip to short, but he's there. New inning getting started, and now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. Misses oh. outside, and that's ball one. Chris Salvi and Tommy John surgery. It seems like more and more oh, position high. players are having Tommy John surgery. Remember, Corey Seager had it, Didi Dee Dee Gregorius. Travis Darno, just to one. name a few. Yeah, he bounced back pretty well oh. from it. He became the comeback player of the year in 2020, the second Royals player to win that award. The other one was Mike Moustakis, his former teammate back in 2017. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there's one away. And now it's Kyle Isbell. Nope. Oh. First offering, and it just misses. Second inning here, no score. There's the strike. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Fouls it off, still 1-2. And, and down on strikes. That's out number two. Nelson Velasquez getting ready to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And he pumps it a strike. Next pitch has popped up. Real Muto makes the grab. Bottom half of inning number two. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Granke back to work. Found back our way, and that's out of play. They say you win. Okay. Next one misses. Ball. And a count one and two. One ball, two strikes. Left hand hitter waits. And there's a the ball. ball. Two, two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. And now Ryan Howard. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. For this guy, it's truly a battle when he steps into the box. Only one thing on his mind, seeing that pitch out of the hand and hit it hard somewhere. in the air 
left field. Witt racing over to make the catch. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield. For that catch, we all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Number 16, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. And a foul ball. Oh, and two now. That one missed. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Fights that one away, still one and two. Swing and a miss. Back here at the ballpark. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Here's Nick Prado. And a swing and a miss oh, there. Boy. In ah. for a strike. Oh, a two down. No ball. Two strikes. Three Got blocks. him looking. That's a strikeout. Now it's the second baseman, Michael Massey. First pitch oh, just misses. And that one sliced foul. The 1-1 one -one is one cut on and missed count. at a pitch upstairs. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Now the batter now, number 88, fought off foul. Right. Next offering is in for a strike. 0-2. Good eye in that spot. That one 95 to. As we go to the last of the third, here's the power hitting catcher, JT Real Muto. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these guys, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. The numbers tell us they're swinging at the first pitch more than 90% of the time. And that's an extremely high number, especially when you're not getting right. results, Boog. Throw over to Prado. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Cody Clemens at the plate now as he chases after that one. Wow. That's not even close to the zone. That one pushed foul. Here comes a pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Massey whips it to first on the run. And a couple of quick outs. Now it's the power speed combo. Weston Wilson. Left field, way back there. That's back. That one is gone. He sends a rocket to left. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. Well, he went up there 0-0 looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. So the lineup flips over. Trey Turner will hit next. He's 0 for 1. Ripped to third, but handled. And that. And welcome back as we go to the top of the fourth. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals. Right. Number 11. That one's in there. That's strike one. Swing and a miss. Okay. Ugly swing right there. The 2 Smoked on the ground a second. Fires over to first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Blanco now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Swings through that. The Royals yet to pick up a hit here. Right back to him on the mound. Tosses to first. And that quickly two away. 
win. In the box for the second the time. One ball, no strikes. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Chop back up the middle. Throws to first, and Witt is out. Welcome back. Ready to go. Bottom four. And stepping in is the speedy Johan Rojas. And first offering is fouled off. Out to short. On the run, throw to first. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Brad Miller now. He's 0 for 1. Not close with that one. And it's 1 and 0. He was late there, strike one. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. These guys like this that have so much power look forward to seeing them hit the ball a long way. But if you're in the stands, or you're in a broadcast booth, or you're a writer, better keep your eye on the game. On the ground right side. Throw over to Prado. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the DH, Kyle Schwarber. And that one hammered. That's back. And that ball is out of here. That one felt good, and they tack one on the board. It's 2-0. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity is not there to overcome and get the swing and miss. And here is Ryan Howard. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. He made him pay for that one, and they add to their lead. It's 3-0. Back-to-back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Base is empty with two away. Number 16 digs in now. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. And first offering is fouled off. And delivers outside. One ball, one strike. That one down the line, oh. and it goes just foul. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Now the throw to first on the run. That ends the frame. We go to the top of the fifth, and now the DH, Salvador Perez. That pitch in for a strike, going one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, yeah. this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. And he lays down a bunt. And he picks it up in foul territory. Swings and misses. No that is strike two. He's mixing his pitches really well on that fastball after seeing the changeup. Let's see if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. And it falls. Nelson Velasquez steps in for the Royals. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. And a strike. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball. See if he adjusts on this next pitch. Got it by him for the K. So up now for Kansas City, Nick Prado. That's in there. That's strike one. 
Isbell leads off first with two down to the inning. 0 2. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That's out number three. We head to the bottom of the fifth. JT Real Muto steps in. Granky back to work. And there's the strike. Your ball, one strike. On the ground to short. Whit fires to first on the run. And Real Muto is out. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. That's out to center field. Velasquez on the move. Tracks it down for the out. Two down. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. This one lifted in the air, left field. Makes the grab after a long. Top of the sixth inning. Here's the second baseman, Michael Massey. The bit behind with that oh, swing. Boy. It's strike one. And he's down 0-2 oh, oh, as he swings through it. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the right. count, up against it with two strikes right there. Oh, you got that front foot down, and pitch recognition right, was two. on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Got him swinging. So up next, number 11. First offering oh, no. misses badly for ball one. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could. He's there. He's got it. And there are two outs. No, well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm oh, telling yeah. you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Next offering is down low. Swings through that one for strike one two. two. Swings and misses on the fast. Back here at the ballpark. Well, we go bottom six. Here's Turner now. For Not the pitch. Turner. Lifted in the air right center field. Velasquez puts it away and there's one down. Now Stepping in the long field. ball threat, Johan Rojas. Rojas. Out of line, out towards center. Velasquez pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's two away. Brad Miller, the next to hit. A little out front there as he swings through it. Miller measures six feet, two inches, 29 years old, and he's usually in left field, but today he's patrolling center. That's hard hit on the line. He makes the grab, and that is that. We go to the top of the seventh, and the batter will be the shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr. That's in for a strike. Strike two. No ball, two strikes. Next offering is fouled back. Here's the 0-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And the pitch. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Perez, yeah. batting with one down, takes a strike. Now one oh. and one. One and one. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Isbell yeah. in the box. The two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Out to short. Trey Turner gloves it, tosses to first, and that's the third out. 
We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 58. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And the pitch. That one ripped left field. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Howard at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. Love to see it. Power versus power right there. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. The next offering misses, and the count is 1-2. and two. Left hand batter waits. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Next one is off the plate. Two and two. At the belt and fires. At the ball. We got a full count. Bounced up the middle. Base hit. Just one of those at bats you almost hate to see come to an Number end. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. That's the ball. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Right into the plate. Swing and a miss as he was late. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, three. It's a double play. And welcome back. We go to the eighth. And now here is Nelson Velasquez. Nope. First pitch, and he just misses. Next offering is foul back. That one not one. close. Two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. 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 Got him. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. And to the play for Kansas. City, Nick Prado. In there, and it's 0 1. 0 1. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Now a pop up on the infield. Hauls it in, two away. A couple of pitches and a quick out. Massey. Ah. Stands in now and watches strike one. On the ground, right side. In plenty of time to first, and that'll do Jonathan Heasley comes on. Complete. Now picking for Kansas City. Number 39. Now, and this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. The pitch. Tap back up the middle. Massey on the run. Sends it over to first. One up, one down. Now it's the second baseman, Cody Clemens. Base hit, center field. Waste no time there. Shorten up the swing. And Right back up the middle. Stepping in, Weston Wilson. And first offering is fouled off. And the right-hander deals. 
way inside, gets out of the way. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. Swings and misses. One, two. one and two. Right-handed reliever. And now it's even up. And now the count filled up three and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Clemens at first, one gone. In the dirt, but kept close. Trey Turner with a chance now. Line drive, makes the play, and it's out number three. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Craig Kimbrell. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. And first offering is fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals, and it's no, one and it. one. And that's a base hit. He puts it in his pocket, safe at first without a play. Dyrone Blanco getting ready to hit. Yeah. And the pitch is in for a strike. And it's 0-1. Just that off the outside ball. edge. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Swings and misses. Struck him out. So it's their last chance in this one. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. 0-2 oh, as he waves at that no one. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. And that'll do it. Great pitchers duel in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. A shutout in this one. 3-0, our final yeah, score.